52% of B2B buyers say they are definitely more likely to buy from a brand after reading their content. And still some marketing gurus will tell you that content is dead. I think content is definitely not that and it's super important, especially in B2B. In today's video, I'm going to try to answer the following question. What is the role of content marketing in B2B sales? Let's start with a small experiment. Try to close your eyes now and imagine the best sports shoes brand on the planet. Now try to imagine the best possible e-commerce experience that you had over the years. Now try to imagine the perfect phone. The truth is that probably all of us have different pictures of different brands as we imagine these. And this is partially because, of course, some of them are so dominant on the market, but partially because we have our preferences as consumers and we were at some point in time affected by ads, campaigns and marketing of these companies. So the same goes for B2B. If you are a consultant, if you are a trainer, if you are um, any type of service-based business or a product-based business operating in B2B, there is a significant chance that your customers, if you will expose them to a decent amount of quality content that you are producing, will trust you and will associate you and your brand with a particular experience. And this is why multiple designers associate good graphic design program or software with Figma. Business owners associate bookkeeping with QuickBooks. Photographers associate photo editing with Photoshop and so on and so forth. So if you will expose your customers to uh, your brand for a decent amount of time and you will provide them with uh, the experience that they are looking for, there is a chance that you will also be associated with that. Another important aspect that can help you understand the landscape of B2B is the change in our behaviors. The truth is that over the last couple of years, we have experienced multiple different revolutions and sometimes they even occurred simultaneously. We've had mobile revolution that has gotten us used to the fact that we can have everything from within the screen of our phone. And now Nowadays, there are people that have not even had a computer in their lives because they are doing everything from their mobile. The truth is that over half of internet traffic is going through mobile. So you as a B2B company should provide your end customers with a decent or very good mobile experience. At the same time, we are now having AI revolution going on, which is changing the way we interact with internet, the way we interact with one another, the way we work, create content and provide value to uh, our customers and each other. Tasks that has taken us just recently a couple of hours can now be done in minutes or even less. And just recently we've had pandemic which has changed the way we look at shopping, online shopping, and we've had the e-commerce boom going on and so on and so forth. And these are just a few examples that are affecting us as consumers and also us as B2B actors interacting with one another. And if you will take a look around, you will notice that everyone is now first looking in the internet, looking on YouTube and checking with ChatGPT before making any decisions or uh, interacting with any salespeople. And there is a probably significant chance that your customers are doing the same thing. And content plays different roles in different elements, different aspects of B2B sales in general. The first role that I would like to underline is trust building. If you will create content, for example, articles, uh, white papers, uh, videos and other types of content that is distributed for free, there is a chance that your audience will trust you. There is a chance that very quickly you will be viewed as an expert, although not necessarily your knowledge has to be very complex. Let me give you an example. Just recently I sold one of my businesses and we also had a YouTube channel on which I was explaining different aspects of working with Microsoft 365. It took only one interaction of a certain project manager 
manager from a very big organization with one of my videos in order to send me a message and ask me for providing personalized trainings for this organization. Of course, I was not doing this by myself, but I was one of the few experts that was doing this online. And this is why this person has assumed that I am trustworthy. Another important role of content in B2B sales is lead generation. In this scenario, you are creating a piece of content or pieces of content that are supposed to uh, provide you with some contact details to your end customers or potential customers, potential prospects. And there are different types of content that you can create in this scenario, ranging from eBooks, which are not so popular anymore because people do not like long forms of content nowadays, uh, cheat sheets, uh, infographics, short email courses that are being sent over a certain period of time, or even video courses or video materials that are exclusive for people that will leave their contact details. In this schema, you are creating this piece of content in order for someone to become a lead in your sales funnel. And before I will move to the next role of content in B2B sales, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are finding this video interesting. Another type of content is strictly business oriented, meaning that it provides value for your business as a whole or as a part of it. And this can be a marketing type of content in which you are creating certain articles not to necessarily build trust, but more to bring more traffic to your website to bring more unique users to your website. And of course, it's best to um, do those things simultaneously, meaning create an expert content and drive traffic, but that's not always the case. If you've ever um, heard about search engine optimization, significant amount of these efforts is to create content that will hit certain phrases that users might be typing in a search engine in order to bring them to your website. This type of content can also provide you with a PR boost. And whenever you are posting any news about uh, what kind of conference have you attended, what kind of achievement your company has made or received or uh, got over the last couple of uh, weeks or months, or you are just creating something to, to make your brand more recognizable, this also serves you another type of, let's say, marketing and business purpose. You can also create a content that is directly involved in sales processes, meaning that it can be used throughout sales processes, presentations, case studies, or can just help you interact with your customers more efficiently. Like, for example, guides, how-tos, and other types of uh, small pieces of content that can enable your users to do something without necessarily interacting with a person from your organization. One of the examples that comes to my mind is a frequently asked question list that uh, we did in one of my businesses in order to help users get around the environment of Microsoft 365 and execute those small tasks like creating a new user or doing certain uh, things within Microsoft 365 administration console uh, by themselves and uh, they didn't require the attention of support people. And the last aspect of content that can help your business and that can also provide you with some extra points in B2B sales is creating a training content, meaning that your product requires uh, involvement from the end users and you would like to improve this process of onboarding them. You can create guidelines, tutorials, how-tos in order to help them start using your product or service. Let me know uh, in which scenarios you are using content. What do you think is the most important role uh, of content in B2B sales? And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you found this video interesting. Have a great day ahead and thanks for watching.